I go out and I meet with people, do an assessment of need, and usually from that assessment of need, if things are quite stable, we do what's called a self-assessment questionnaire, which then leads on to a, a support plan that we help the person formulate. They get an individualised budget, and whilst working on that support plan, we help the person to plan how they want to meet their needs for the following year, taking into account lots of things that they consider that are important to them. I think social work in the future is going to really resemble the social work of the past and it's not just going to be about routine services anymore, it's going to be about what that person wants. And some social workers are worried and they think that we're going to be made redundant but I think we're going to have more work because people do need a social worker at that point and they need to sit down and make that plan with somebody who knows that they can achieve it and give them the confidence to achieve it. Hello Jeff. Me. That's what it's going to be like in the future. No two cases are going to be the same. How are you in love? We still work on a needs-led basis, but the wants of that person are becoming so much more important because if it's the needs, if the want is met, then the need is met as well. At one time, social work was all about keeping people safe, and it was a bit like being the soft police, is what the public thought social workers were. And now it's keeping people safe while enabling them to lead a life that they've always wanted to lead. Well, I'm, I want to review you early next week. No problem. When we first started on this route with personalisation, um, I think we all got so excited about it that we missed some of the fundamental stuff. If somebody's been trained five years ago, that needs to be refreshed. And now we've got our head around that, and the service users have got their head around that. It's very, very straightforward you need to instill in the person a sense of their own achievement and the fact that they can do it and obviously when you first meet a person they're in a state of crisis that's why they've called a social worker in so to get from there to people going out there on the road and achieving what they really want to achieve is hard work uh -huh. okay right. yeah. so simple stuff like i think once somebody starts to write their own job description for a personal assistant the psychological change in them is massive. So in November, yeah. somebody yeah. from a review team will come out, yeah. review your situation, allocate your new budget for next year. We've still got some things to learn, but a lot of people in Hartlepool have benefited massively from the, the personalised budgets. And it enables them to do things that they couldn't do before. They had to fit into services that weren't for them. Um, the number of times people who needed respite, if they were of a younger age, had to go into an elderly care home for respite. Personalised budgets, they don't need to do that now. What people tend to do is they have a short break instead and they take the carer with them. And the carer is paid for from the individual budget and the person just pays for themselves. You know, I've had people who are um, confined to wheelchairs because of their level of disability. And they're now going to university to do courses. And there's, there's no, absolutely no doubt in my mind that that started with the personalisation um, agenda. They started employing their own PAs, they started doing courses, and now they're so much less dependent on services in the old-fashioned terms. And to them, it's just opened their lives right up. And where we are now, I don't think we've got really much further to go. I think we just need to fine-tune what we're already doing. In a way, it's been a big learning curve for a lot of us because we have such a responsible position. It's difficult to let go of some of those responsibilities. And it's only by doing it that you realise how effective it is. And then that gives you the, the impetus to go on and do it even more. I think if I was giving any advice to anybody, I would say don't forget your basics. Keep your basics in mind. Personalisation is very exciting and it's, it's great when it works for people. But as a worker, you have the responsibility and you still have that duty of care to minimise the risks of that person and to keep them safe. Um, allow them to take risks, that's what life's all about. And they want to take risks, but keep an eye on the basic stuff as well. Because you're doing the plan with the person. And if they're trying to reach for something, allow them to reach, but make sure there's a safety net underneath them and get your basics right before you start building. I think personalisation has been amazing. <laughs> and the way it's turned the lives round. And there's lots of stories that people are prepared to tell, that some are only small stories, some are really big stories, but I think it's really, really worked.